Hey guys, I'm Anthony Bowens. And I'm Michael Pavano. And we're back. And this time around, we decided to answer a few more questions before we started to dive into more activity-based content. So we're here today to give you a Q&A from the questions you've asked us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Yes. So, without further ado, how old are you? I am 26 years old. And I am 23 years old. What are your heritages? I am Italian, Swedish, and Hungarian. This guy... I'm half Italian, half African American. Specifically, uh, Sicilian. On the Italian end. Me too, by the way. I'm Sicilian. What do you like to do for fun? <laughs> We're kind of boring sometimes. I mean, I'm really boring when I'm by myself. I'm usually either lifting or watching wrestling or wrestling. Well, anything with wrestling, basically. <laughs> Enjoy doing boring things, really. What? We enjoy doing boring things. Oh yeah, we do enjoy doing boring things. Like Netflix, eating, together. <laughs> That's what we do in our spare time. We do a really fun thing called uh, what we call an escape day. Oh, every weekend we get in the car and we literally just drive with no destination. And we see wherever our minds and wherever fate takes us. And sometimes we end up in these really cool, quaint, cozy, fun towns. And sometimes we end up in these really weird, scary, sinister yeah, some, towns. Some weird places. But there's also some cool places, and it's a really fun thing to do if you have free time every once in a while. Right, just to just get go. out, experience new things. Just go! <laughs> <laughs> get up and go. <laughs> no, 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 it's a joke. It's cute. What is your favorite quality about each other? My favorite quality is your sense of humor. Because I love to laugh. I'm laughing literally three quarters of the day. I'll laugh at anything, I'll laugh at nothing. I'll laugh at things I think of in my head and then he thinks I'm a weirdo, but yeah. Cause you'll do it in the middle of, like we'll just be out. Have you guys ever just thought of something really funny and it just made you laugh? Yes, I'm sure they have. Yes. Well, I do that a lot. He does it when I tell you for five minutes straight. <laughs> it's like, what? Tell, like, I, it's like, you know when someone's doing an inside joke with someone else, and you're like, I gotta get in on this it's inside joke. Bad. It's just like that. It's, it makes you want to know what he's laughing at. It makes you want to laugh, too, because it goes on for so long. <laughs> but my favorite quality about him is that he has such a good heart. He has such a... His heart is so pure. So <laughs> awkward and weird. He has such a pure heart. <laughs> He's just such a good guy, like genuinely one of the nicest guys I've ever met. And that's one thing that I can say I've noticed about him from the day I met him. He was just such a nice guy. Well, thank you. You're welcome. What is your least favorite quality about each other? Hmm. Oh, procrastinator. <laughs> you asshole. He's a big procrastinator on the most important of things, so he'll wait literally to the last second or until I yell at him to do it. <laughs> I am a procrastinator and I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> My least favorite trait about him, he kind of always looks like he's sad or angry, but I know that he's not, I'll ask him like, what's going on, are you okay? And he'll say like, no, like I'm totally fine, what's up? I'll bring him to the gym with me and he will just walk around between like exercises and just look like he's about to murder somebody, stripping sweat. It's called focus. But if you guys have ever heard of the term um, resting bitch face, I have a condition that's called resting wrestler face, where I just look angry all the time and I'm about to walk into a wrestling ring and beat somebody up. But I'm actually very happy, just the way I am. Sorry. Who is your favorite music artist? I have been obsessed with Foster the People's new album. It's called Sacred Hearts Club, and it came out pretty sure this summer. And I've literally had it on repeat this whole summer. It's so good. I can't name one, so I gotta name three. Number one... <laughs> number one is Coheed and Cambria. Number two is Circa Survive. And number three is Brand New. Do you deal with hate? If so, how do you handle it? Uh, we don't particularly get hate. Uh, unless you read the comments on our last YouTube video, which has some very ignorant, uneducated people. Um, that's really about it, per se. I don't think anybody really has the balls to say anything to my face. There's a lot of keyboard warriors out there who like to sit behind their, their little uh, computer and say things. But. It's very sad. It's sad. 
Yeah. Whatever, but we focus on the positivity, and there's a ton of positivity coming and a ton of support, so thank you guys yes. for that. It means a lot to us. Thank you. Have you talked about getting married, and do you want kids in the future? We... <laughs> <laughs> we have spoken about marriage before, but at this point in our lives, we're obviously in no position to get married. We're still kind of at the beginning of our careers, my acting career, his wrestling career, and we would like to eventually have children and get married. Just not now. Yeah, just not now. This question is for me. Oh. <laughs> this question is for Michael. Thoughts on dating a pro wrestler? Do you go to his matches? If so, do you ever go backstage? And if you do, do you feel welcomed by the other talent? One of the biggest pros would be that whenever I'm around him in public, or anywhere for that matter, we'd never have to worry about anyone messing with us because you're pretty much bigger than most people that we come across, <laughs> right? Do you go to his matches? Yes, I do go to his matches, and I find myself getting so into it, just like everybody else that's there, like screaming and chanting. And It's a very fun time, guys. It come is a down. lot. Come down. Yeah. October 13th, Broadway, New Jersey, yes. Russell Pro. Find your tickets on russellproonline.com. You can sit with me. Do you ever go backstage, and if so, do you feel welcomed by the other talent? Yes, and yes. I, I think it's pretty safe to say that most of the wrestlers are just like him in the sense that they look really scary and intimidating, <laughs> but once you get to know them, you just realize they're super nice guys, super Plus, chill. I, all, I think all of them like him better than me. <laughs> all right, everybody, that was the Q&A. We decided to make it short and sweet so you can get to know a little bit more about us before we start diving into the activity type content. We do have a few exciting things in store that we want to do and post, but in the meantime, if you guys want, feel free to leave comments in the Below. The, below. Below. And let us know what you'd like to see us do. Also, follow us. Make sure you follow us for updates on our daily lives on social media. At Bowens underscore official on Twitter and Instagram. And at Michael Pavano on Twitter and Instagram. You can I'll have find that below in, in the description. description. Cool. So long, everybody. See you guys. See ya.